Now, Darren Day has been entertaining us on stage and on screen for decades, and it's been almost, can you believe this, 30 years since he took over from Philip Schofield to play Joseph in the West End. Now, with the help of some other fellow former Josephs, he is bringing the magic back to life. May I return to the beginning. Oh, oh I love it. <laughs> oh, do you know, Darren, that was so brilliant, so beautiful to recognise my colour way in there. Was it Jack? I yeah, I mean, going back through the ages there, was that Mike Holloway, Darren? Yeah, of course. So, Mike, Mike, we sort of went in, in sequence. So, uh, so Mike was, was sort of one of the first. Um, and then they went with myself and Jack and my pal Jamie Hensley, um, who played Joseph on the most recent tour last year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at 52 years old, I didn't believe I would ever play that role again. I'm just glad I didn't have to don the loincloth. <laughs> um, but uh, it's not as pretty as it was. And there's our, I did beautiful, get my our beautiful off. friend Zoe Tyler there yes, as well. Yes, was in it as well, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, Darren, you have, you have yeah. credited Joseph for really launching your career. Did it really make that much of a difference to you? Absolutely huge. I, I, was, um, I was singing in the clubs, um, on the club circuit. And I got a call to say that I had an audition for Joseph. It was the 12th of March, 1993. I auditioned on the 19th of March, got a recall the following week. And then my manager called me and said, uh, I was in Marks and Spencer's in Golders Green. I will never forget. <laughs> and he said, the dream coat's yours, mate. And suddenly from, from sort of playing the club circuit, the next six weeks, I was on the front page of Smash Hits. I had girls camping on my drive. Um, it was just incredible. And, and from the first night, I got a <laughs> record deal with Simon Cowell at RCA. I got an ITV deal with Nigel Lithgow on, for Saturday Night Television. It just absolutely changed my life. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And Darren, obviously yourself, myself, Brenda, we are theatre performers and we've seen the devastation that COVID has wreaked on, um, on our industry. So I think that what you are doing as well as many other people is trying desperately to keep theatres alive until the day dawns that we can all sit, sit cheek by jowl as we should watching amazing performers. I know that you've teamed up with Hope Mill Theatre to do um, to mm. revive Godspell, which then streams and people pay money to view. That's that's it, is it not? Yeah, I mean, it, it was. Uh, we, I was four days away from starting rehearsals for Footloose, the musical, um, when when the COVID hit. Um, so we we were supposed to be on tour for 15 months, UK tour, Europe tour. Um, but I've been really lucky in the fact that. It was quite weird, it's sort of been like full circle, because in 93, I went from playing Joseph to playing Jesus. And now 27 years on, I've done the same. I've gone from playing the Joseph concert to now playing Jesus again in Godspell. And ladies, if you wouldn't mind, I would just love to read the website, study, just because it's for such a wonderful charity, yeah. the acting for others. So the Joseph one is www.justgiving.com dot com forward slash fundraising forward slash Joseph Dream Concert and then the Godspell one is www.hopemilltheatre.co.uk forward slash events forward slash Godspell and Godspell will be available 26th, 27th of this know, month. It's not just the West End theatres, the package is obviously helping the theatres mm. but not the actors but it's the local theatres like Hope Mill that are, it's the outreach programmes they have that serves the yeah. whole community that we're in danger of losing, do you know mm. what I mean? Not just, and some of our mates can't feed their families and I know across the board yeah. but, it's, uh, but it's, it's, it's great what you're yeah. doing, Darren. And Darren, then, I thank want you. To, is... Darren, can I ask you what lockdown has been sure, like Jane. for you? I mean, on a mental yeah. level, have you found it challenging? Mm. Uh, yeah, what, what's been quite, it's been a funny thing because at, at the beginning of lockdown, I found it really tough yeah. because I kind of like to be working. But I was, di two years ago, I was diagnosed with bipolar. And, um, and then during lockdown, I've been diagnosed with um, BPD, which is borderline personality disorder. Um, and I honestly believe that to some degree lockdown has saved me because I think if I hadn't, if I'd have been on tour, yeah. I wouldn't have been 
you know, I, I wouldn't have been with the team that I've been with. And, you know, because Robbie Williams and I um, were on this two or three years ago together, I have to give my thanks publicly. Well, I don't have to, but I mean, I thank him personally all the time. But Rob has been the most incredible mate to me over these last four years, and particularly in the last 12 months. And Rob put his team, um, he kind of put his team onto me. And, um, and it was the team that diagnosed me. So I was diagnosed a few weeks ago uh, on the Monday. And then on the Tuesday, a guy called Tony Wilshire, who's a serving soldier in our armed forces, contacted me and said, would you do a video for my charity? It's OK not to be OK. And he said, Daniel Radcliffe um, has just done one. And I thought, well, look, this is perfect timing. I literally got diagnosed with a new disorder yesterday. So I did. Did a, a video and it got 40,000 views overnight. But th due to me being diagnosed properly, I'm now on the right medication and I honestly feel the best that I have that I can remember, uh, certainly for 20 odd years. Mm -hmm. I feel the best I've ever felt. But I was misdiagnosed for a long, long time, you know? Darren, um, you, you and now, I have... Sorry. Yeah. You and I have known each other for a, a long time and people have seen at times we both of been, our lives we? spiral out of control very publicly. Um, has yeah. your diagnosis now helped you as mine did to understand some of the, the places that, that, that you, you know, the dark, the dark places that you were taken to? So much so, Denise, so, like so much so. I mean, I remember us talking two or three years ago and you actually put me in touch with Rob's dad, Pete. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do. But, um, but I struggled for so many years and I was put on two or three different types of, an of, of antidepressants. They either didn't work or some of them made things worse. So when I was diagnosed with bipolar, I was put on meds for that, but I still didn't feel right. But since I've been diagnosed with the new one, the new disorder, the meds that I'm on now have absolutely changed my life and I feel the most level I've ever felt. I have an amazing partner, Sophie, who, she was one of the normal ones, Denise. You know, yeah. she could go out a couple of <laughs> times a month uh, with her mates and, and then not drink. think about having a drink again. <laughs> mm. But um, that was never me. But she's stopped drinking for me. You know, when I started living here, she moved mm. all the booze out of the house. She stopped drinking and... I just have a great, you know, she's just incredibly And do you know, that's supportive. amazing, Darren, because we talk on this show a lot about the underrepresented group of people who are the ones who live with and love those yeah. with depression and addiction is issues. So thank goodness that you and, found and Darren, something. Darren, a lot of, a lot of people yeah. say, oh, why, why, why do we constantly talk about this? Why do celebrities open I up? I don't care how the, many people The difference say that. you will have made today talking about your experience thank is you. tremendous. So thank you so but, much but, for opening no, up. No, well, thank we, you. And you, uh, Darren, we've come to the end of the show now, but we will get you on another time to talk in more detail. Could I just wave to my kids? Could I just wave to yeah. my kids? Yeah. Just give Curry, Madison, uh, and Dalton. I love you so much.